sophistication and imagination and retired undefeated in 1985. On their heels came a new dynasty, Corky and Shirley Ballas. The defending Latin champions are known for their jive, including this rousing routine from last year's finals. In the modern division, Christy and Brian McDonald reigned until 1982 when they retired with this show-stopping foxtrot. Then the couple to beat was Cynthia Dostal and Victor Veracet, whose dancing was strong, graceful, and flawless. Ballroom dancing has come of age, and PBS is so proud to have brought this wonderful art form to a wide and loyal audience. Now, a lot has happened in 10 years, and it's been a lot of fun. But now it's time to begin the second decade of championship ballroom dancing. Joining me is Terry Leone, who will help guide us through tonight's competitions. Terry is a former Latin dance champion who now teaches professional dancers and judges competitions throughout the world, as he has tonight. Welcome, Terry. Oh, Rita, I'm so proud to be with you. I must tell you, your exhibition this evening was absolutely spectacular. Thank Just you. fabulous. Thank you. And I saw West Side Story four times, and <laughs> who would have ever thought I'd be sitting next to you talking, oh. but I'm very honored to be with you this evening. Thank you. But you know, if memory serves me, you were the original host when this show first went on the air in 1981. And I'm so happy to be back to help kick off the next decade of ballroom dancing. We begin the evening with the modern division. The couples in the modern division have already competed in several elimination rounds. And Terry, you've been observing this whole process. Why don't you bring us up to date? Well, Rita, as you mentioned, competition for these dances started several days ago. Mm -hmm. So far, they've gone through the preliminaries and the quarterfinals. We catch up with them here in the semifinal round. It's now down to 12 couples. They have to perform the five standard dances that make up this division. You're seeing the first of the five dances here, the waltz. The others are the foxtrot, Vini's waltz, tango, and quickstep. The pressure is really on tonight. They must impress the judges and get scored high enough to proceed to the finals. Here we are seeing them in their final dance, the quickstep. The judges evaluate each couple on footwork, basic rhythm, line, and how they interpret each dance. Now, these dancers are tired from days of competition, but they still have the energy to make every move look effortless and fresh. How the dancers hold up through each round is another element the judges take into account. Only six of these 12 couples will go on to the final round. Thank you, Terry. Those six couples have been selected and are waiting. So why don't we turn things over to Master of Ceremonies, John Morton, so the competition can continue. And two, four, one. Thank you, dancers. First dance, most please. During the past year, the reigning champions in this division were Victor Grasset and Cynthia Dostal. But unfortunately, they have split up and aren't here to defend their title. So the field is wide open, and by the end of the evening, we'll crown a new champion in this division. This is Nicholas Cotton and Debbie Avalos. They are what we call 10 dancers, which means that they recently competed in both the modern and Latin divisions. But now they are concentrating only on the modern style. They've been competing for a long time and are experienced and polished performers. They have good body speed, sharp, clean lines, and partner each other very well. They're expressive dancers and may very well be the couple to be tonight. 
Beautiful dancing audience. Second dance, please. The tango. Bill has been competing for more than 25 years. He's definitely the most experienced dancer here. Bill and Rebecca performed well in all their dances, but I'd say their strongest is the foxtrot, which is really the most difficult of all the modern dances. They do it nice, easy, slow, very eloquent. He has tremendous control and great stride. Rebecca has a very comfortable at ease style and partners Bill very well. They move around the floor as if they were floating on air. Wall Street. We're looking at Dan Radler and Suzanne Hamby, who are from Massachusetts. This couple's been dancing together since they were amateurs. They've never danced with any other partners, which is an advantage, because when you're with the same person for a long time, you begin to dance as if you're one. I'd say their strongest dance is the waltz. They're well-matched and create long, beautiful lines and poses in their dancing. Benoit and Martine have a very sophisticated and cool dance style. They are a well-matched couple, tall and dramatic dancers who carry themselves well and present classic lines. Very, very nice indeed. All dance, please. Slow motion. both in this division and in the Latin style as well. What's interesting about couples who dance in both divisions is that very often they are able to bring to their modern dancing 
more of the expressive emotion which you find in the Latin style. I'd say their strongest dances in this division are their quick step and tango. They are a popular couple with the audience. And did you enjoy that box trot audience? Here we go, final dance. Quick step, please.